my left here, Mr. Malcolm Dalgish. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a hand. And this instrument to my right is not a cheese grater, it is a hammer dulcimer. All right? Good afternoon, or evening, as the case may be. It's wonderful to be here. And this is a kind of a whimsical American folk song called Kitty Alone.
Waddell on piano. Thank you so much. We're going to take a little break. He's going to be back in just a little bit here and do his solo performance. And then we have Ellen McElwain from Canada up to do the blues for you. And um, you're going to really be impressed. All right. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, I'm not going to play. <laughs> Don't forget, uh, get on in there and check out the arts that are still going on in there. Uh, these guys, people have uh, put together uh, some of the neatest stuff in the area, and uh, they do have their wares for sale. So go ahead and take a look at that yet while we're setting up here for our next set. And we want to thank a few more of our sponsors that we had here tonight. Uh, Greenscapes for the beautiful uh, shrubbery out front here. And Rich and Sons Camper Sales, who provides us with the beautiful Sunseeker a motorhome back there, which is nicer than camping in that I've ever camped. Malcolm wanted to know if that meant tornado. <laughs> this is small town, Malcolm. This is six o'clock. Everybody got to go in for lunch. They're supper now. So. All right, and uh, a few of the other sponsors we'd like to thank tonight are uh, Aurora Floral, Pinnacle Bank, Edward Jones, The Grain Place. Cornerstone Bank, Lewis Greenscapes, the Aurora Lions Clubs, Nina's Bed and Breakfast, Wig Does Financial Advisors, Aurora Co-op, Ron's Barbershop, and uh, Monette's here on the corner. And also, if you haven't been in the tent to go to the Hamilton Telecommunications booth, uh, they are set up in the corner. We also want to thank the Nebraska Arts Council for uh, providing a lot of the funds for this festival that we have here again. This is a free coming out. Well, he was a hunter, so he picks up his rifle. He points it over the boat. He wants to shoot the seal right in the head so he won't ruin the skin. And he's just about to pull the trigger when something very strange happened. The seal just rolls over. And as the seal did that, the sea became calm. And the sun went down very fast and the stars came out. And he saw them reflecting on the water, but then when he looked again, he saw that this, it looked like the stars were coming from deep down in the sea. And what was really strange is the seal came towards his boat, still very playfully on its back, going through the water. There was no ripple in the water. There was no separation between the air and the water. 
And the seal looked up and down the long barrel of that rifle right into his eyes and then wove a spell around. When you look at this instrument, you see all these strings and you think, how does he know where to hit on that thing? Well, there's a very simple pattern. And out of that simple pattern, you can create these other patterns that create chords. And just like when you look at the stars at night and you see all these beautiful stars, but then when you draw lines between them, you get constellations. And it's the same thing with the dulcimer, except for I just play on those constellations as though they were a drum. And when I make up tunes, I just get a constellation and just 